What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free channel collective reading for all signs, Caps through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love you guys. We're at 13,300 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Rofi. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, love you guys. Okay, so this is actually take two of this reading. I did the whole entire reading, and then my son wanted to say something at the very end. He put his head in it, so I had, I just scrapped it. I just scrapped it. I'm starting over, so just take two, just saying. I already got the cards out and all that, so um, we're just going to roll into it. But um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. I really appreciate all the donations. Um, I don't care if it was a dollar or five hundred dollars. I appreciate all the donations, all the love, all the support. Um, these are all free general readings on here. Um, I get my money money on the back end from Google AdSense and then from the donations, and then when personal readings are open, but they're currently closed right now, um, just to let everybody know. Okay, um, love you guys. Oh, also. Um, uh, 4,000 more cards have been ordered, business cards, and um, they're on the way. So um, I'll be putting those out in my city soon. I've already put out quite a few thousands already in my city. So um, I'm really excited about it, you guys. It just am, am, am. Um, Y'all know I've got three goals before, uh, three goals here, um, which I told you guys, goal one is to get my kids back July 15th of 2022. That is court date, court battle, child custody hearing battle. Um, for um, my ex-husband took me to court. I think it's court date five. It's either five, six, or seven. It's at least five. I'll do that. Um, he's accused me of child abuse in the past. That was the last one. He, um, um, child, uh, um, Child support adjustment, child support adjustment, accuse me of child, uh, child abuse, all kinds of crazy things. This is number five, um, more accusals. So um, that is on July 15th. He wants full custody of both of our children, our teenage children. That is the goal there. But of course, I've raised him by myself for a very, very, very long time. We've been divorced a decade now. So um um, that's where it is. So if anybody could just think of me on July 15th of 2022, I'd very much appreciate it. We're currently in the McClendon standard right now. Um, so um, just keep me in your thoughts and well wishes and prayers and meditations or whatever you do, spiritual, religious, or spiritual and religious, or whatever you do. No judgments of religion here or any other judgments unless you're a pedophile or um, or you've stolen something from somebody. Um, and that's just the truth. So, um, just saying, just saying. So, that's that's my first goal for me, real quick, and then we'll get into it. That's the first goal for me, is to get my kids back on July 15th. Because um, I'm not an unfit mother. I'm just not. I'm not. Goal two, uh, and God knows he's tried over the years, trust me. CPS call after CPS call after CPS call after CPS call. You name it, I've been through it. And that's just the truth. Um, court battle after court battle after court battle after court battle. You name it, I've been through it. I mean, it's just the truth. Um, goal two, renovate my home because I'm a homeowner. I've had this home for five years. Renovate my home. Very nice. I want to get a new fence, get new flooring. Uh, I need to get some electrical done in my home. Um, rent it out. And then me and my kids move. Um, goal three is to relocate, moving. Um, but I want to rent the space out first to a very good family. Um, hopefully one that's not going to trash it because I'm going to have it very nicely done when we leave, um, vacate the premises. So, and I, I love this home. I've raised my kids here for five years. So, um, of course I want good tenants that would keep it proper. And that's just the truth. But anyways, those three goals for me. So, um. Just keep me in your thoughts and well wishes. I'd appreciate it. 
Okay, so the channel message I received, it's really a beautiful one. It's a beautiful one, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the message I received was generational wealth um, being built on a business. Uh, for some, you're a single parent. For some, you're a single person. So you plug it in your life. How it resonates a lot of singles of Pringle energy. So for some, you're a single person. I feel you have no attachments. You're legally single on the tax form. No attachments. Maybe you're casually dating for some. Maybe not. I don't know. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But single attachment. By the way, these are psychic, intuitive, clairvoyant. I'm sorry, psychic, intuitive, um, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. So situation one, your singles are Pringle. Legally single in tax form. I don't feel you're with anybody. If you are, it's very casual feeling. Situation two, you're a single parent. And you can be masculine or femme on any of these. Masculine or femme, masculine or femme. Situation two, you're a single parent, masculine or femme, one child or two or two plus children. You're building generational wealth. It's either a new business I'm feeling or a business you've had for a minute like this. I've had this business for two and a half years. So, but only been at gaining income off it for about a year and a half. Um, first year, I didn't monetize. I just did it because I enjoyed it because I was still nursing at the time. Um, and I didn't need the income or anything. Um, you know, and I just did it because I loved you guys. Um, anybody has been with me for the first while, you knew that. So, um, but I have been monetized for about a year and a half now. Um, but anyway, so, um, yeah. So, um, singles of Pringle energy and then business or businesses. So, for one, it's one business. For one, it's two or two plus businesses. But generational wealth energy. So you're building your generational wealth off the business or businesses. How that resonates and applies for you. Um, business owner energy. So I feel you're either a co-owner of the business or you're a primary sole proprietorship, kind of like this, or you can be an LLC. How that resonates. But um, you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. It's really beautiful. It is, it is, it is. Okay, so a pull man holding a heart in action. So, um, man holding a heart, when I pulled this card, it basically was saying, um, cause it, you know, this is take two. So I'll just tell you what I heard on it. This was basically beware because, um, for some, I heard it was new businesses. So you just recently started the new business or businesses for some, it's been a business for a hot minute. So kind of like this, um, and, um, but for some of you guys, you're about to start getting people of the past about to come back because they see people, they see you doing well financially with your business or businesses. So they, they want to come back. Some it's people of the past, for some it's new people. But I heard you need to be careful because they basically, you're about to start, you already have already garnered a lot of attention, but you're about to start garnering a lot more attention. So like people like you and you got you gain a lot of attention, but you're about to start getting a lot more. And I heard specifically like a lot, lot, lot more. So it's about to start coming in soon and quickly with the lots of attention because people really like you. They like you. And I also heard in here, whatever you're doing, it's very respectable too. That was pertinent in here. It's very respectable. And I did hear activism, public speaking, and readers too. I heard activism, public speaker, and reader. Uh, so tarot reader. Um, now, you know, there's many tarot readers. Um, there's psychic investigators. There's uh, whatever you call yourself, psychic investigator or uh, life coach or uh, um, what, what have you, what have you, light worker, what, whatever you call yourself, okay? Um, but this is basically people of the past want to come back. And I heard you needed to use your head over your heart with that decision too. So like air sign energy. And it don't matter what sign you are, but you need to use the air sign energy, the logical thought, cognitive processing energy. Because I heard uh, for some, your your feelings might get attached basically to the person. It can be a masculine energy. I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, it's a masculine energy. Your energy is going to try to come back from your past. For some, it could be fins taking on heavy masculine because everybody exhibits masculine through energy. But I heard basically you just somebody's feelings are going to get attached to the memories of the past. They're going to get attached to the memories of the past. And 
your thoughts of when it was good in the past with this person or people that are going to try to come back because they're seeing dollar signs. They're seeing clout and fame because I heard specifically in one of the channel messages that some of these people from your past specifically that want to come back, they want to be on your arm as your person out in public, your public image person, because it'll make them look good for clout, fame, and recognition, basically. So they want the benefits of being on your arm, basically, because you're about to be whoever you are, you're about to blow up in a very positive way. Um, a very positive way. A very, I just heard that again, very positive way. So double deuces confirmation, a very positive way. So you're about to get lots of attention, lots. Um, and, I, you know, obviously, whoever this is for, you're probably going to have some haters. Haters going to hate. But you're going to have way more people wanting you in the public eye. You're already in the public eye for a feel for some. For some, you're about to be way more in the public eye. And of course, you're going to have some haters. Haters going to hate. But it's not going to matter because I, way more people want you in the public eye than the haters. And that's just the truth. It's about to happen soon and quickly. Soon and quickly. It's about to happen soon and quickly. So I think these people are about to try to come back from your past soon and quickly too because they want to get on the bus. They want to get on the train. They want to get on a clown fame train, basically. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's masculine energies. For some, it can be femme taking on heavy masculine, but the spiritual download in that was basically use your head over your heart. You need to think smarter, not harder. It would not be smart to basically form the attachments of memories and positive memories of the past and positive attachments of these people of the past with your heart chakra because there's a reason they left you in the past or you left them in the past basically um if you might need to hear that for some it's new people um it's new people but i heard uh for some of you guys it's going to be equal power play mover energies of the new people coming in with you and they would be smart matches because they would match you mentally spiritually physically sexually and emotionally um uh, for some it's just people wanting to get on the clout clout train on your arm basically to be seen with you so you have to use your best discernment and judgment there okay whoever you are and how that applies okay but somebody heavy activism heavy um public speaking heavy terror reader energy here but all respectable here all respectable it, you're not doing something crazy or um unrespectable or what have you what have you it's very respectable content you're putting out or things you're saying or ways you're presenting yourself however that resonates and applies on one's life this is really beautiful energy just for a and then the action was um what was it what was the action hold on give me a second since it's um take two i gotta think about what it was give me a second with the action Oh yeah, oh yeah. There was um I heard it was gonna start happening soon and quickly, soon and quickly. So like the eight of wands with the five 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 change. Um with the people of the past coming back, the fame and the more and more and more attention coming soon and quickly, like it's about to start speeding up. Um and I mentioned this in one of the readings the other day. For a while in the energetic space on my readings and blah 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 it was static 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 moving so slow 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 in the energetic space it felt like a freaking snail crawling but now it's fast it's fast it's fast it's going it's going and it sounds like it's going to continue to go i mean going 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 um which is beautiful i love that kind of energy excuse me i hope you guys do too but that's really beautiful um if you enjoy that kind of energy of course you know everybody's different but i do but that's great. That's great. That's great for whoever th that wants it to be that way, I guess. Um, but eight of wands with a five, five, five is what I'm trying to say. Action, action, action. Um, for some, and I didn't hear this in the other one or now, but for some, you, I'm feeling this might be like maybe a movie. You might ask to be starring in a movie. I didn't hear that. I just kind of, I feel like lights, camera, action with this. I didn't say this in the first reading, but I do. I feel maybe you might be asked to be a star or co-star in a movie or um, or something like that. I feel like celeb like somebody's about to become a celebrity and you're not even meaning to become a celeb celebrity, whoever you are, is what I'm feeling here. Because whoever you are, 
I don't. I think um, you didn't want the clout and the fame and the recognition. It just kind of came to you, is what I'm feeling. Didn't want it at all, but you were made for this. People love you. Didn't want it at all, but you were made for this and people love you, is what I just heard. So you didn't want the clout and the fame and the recognition like these suitors from the past want the clout, fame, and recognition, but you didn't want it, but it came to you naturally. It came to you naturally. You were born for this, born for this, and it's about to happen soon. You were born for this, and it's about to happen soon, is what I heard. Wow, that's beautiful. So you were born for the, the, the spotlight, the limelight. You never wanted it, but you were born for it, whether you knew you were or not, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, and it, it's come to you. Attention and fame and notoriety has come to you, but it just hasn't um, come as quickly as it's about to. But it is about to come. I heard you're, bo you're born for it. Um, and you never saw sought it out. But it is about, um, but you were basically, you're natural at it, basically. And um, it's about to come. It's about to come in a very healthy way this time. Very healthy way. We'll be able to control the content. It, it's about to come in a very healthy way this time. You'll be able to control the content. So whoever you are, I think somebody forced you into the spotlight in the past. Maybe I think somebody took advantage of you in the past. Is what I think somebody took advantage of you in the past. Um, they knew you were star material and they exploited and abused you. But whoever you are, you'll be able to control the content this time. So I think you have a public platform, absolutely. Uh, or you go out and speak out in the world, um, maybe at a public speaking events or something. Um, but in the past, Somebody knew your star potential, but they basically abused and exploited you. Like, I feel sneaky energy. Um, but this time, the narrative has changed, the energy has changed, and now you're going to be able to control it. Um, so that's really beautiful. Um, so you'll be able to control the con content you put out, what you want put out, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, which is going to... Um, help their respect too because whoever took advantage of you in the past they might have put out raunchy explicit material of you um or somebody you love um which is nasty um if you don't want the raunchy explicit material out some people don't care they like to put it out i'm not that kind of person but i don't judge people that do um but whoever you are you i feel like no consent no authorization in the past but this time you'll be able to control it because the narrative's changed. So that's beautiful. Okay, and also too, I was going to say too, with this one, I was doing this in the first reading. There was a, um, two Leo Femme Reader energies in here uh, at the very end. Okay, I like I said, I had to do take two on this one because my son poked his head in at the end. And I rewatched it and you could see part of his head. And I, I don't, you know, I've got, I've got to follow the child rules on here because this is 18 plus. Even though it was an eyeball, still. Um, especially deep into this custody battle right now. Just saying. So, um, so anyways, there was two Leo reader, readers in here. Two Leo film readers at the end of the first reading. Both heavy in the public eye, but one Leo reader, fem, they're both Leo film readers, but one Leo film reader is very, very, very heavily jealous of the other Leo film reader. Um, she knows she's about to grant, bank, gain very great success. And she, she's right, she is. She knows she's about to gain very great success, and she's right, she is. So I just heard that one. So one Leo Femme reader has basically been negatively projecting, I heard specifically in her three general collective readings, negative um, projecting, projectatory type energy onto another Leo Femme reader. I heard because she's jealous of her, and I heard... Um, Apparently, this one is about to start getting um, lots of attention soon, lots of attention, and it sounds like her business is about to go up, gaining the generational wealth, and she's about to um, gain, garner more attention and business and notoriety and respect, and um, it's just about to come to her soon. It sounds like it's her time. Um, but this person has been very jealous of her, it sounds like, currently in the energetic space and in the past. So. She does readings online, popular, um, online, I didn't hear popular, online social media platform. She has an online social media platform. 
and she's been putting negative um, energy out to her in her free general collective readings. Um, but I heard this Leo's about to cut her off. She's about to cut her off, so I think she's going to not watch her readings anymore. Um, or unsubscribe from her channel if it is YouTube plat platform. It could be any platform. But, um, and just block her energy from her. Um, and that could be the action too. The uh, the negative, hateful, projectatory type energy that's been put out in free general collective readings. And the blocking of the other Leo reader. It's two Leo fan readers. But Archie's been doing it because she's jealous. Um, she's about to get a lot more jealous. A lot more. She's about to get a lot more jealous. A lot more is what I heard. She's about to get a lot more jealous. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else because I've heard a couple channelings in here. This person is about to become very, 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 very famous very soon in a very positive way. Respect and honor is finally going to come to you. Okay, I heard this person is about to become very, very, very famous in a very positive, um, respectful way. Respect and honor will come to you. So some, so you have to plug yourself in when you fit, you guys. Um, as I say on all the videos, uh, especially with the newbies, you have to plug yourself in when you fit. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply due to psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you're not this negative, hateful, Leo Femme reader with a public platform, you're not. If you're not this Leo Femme reader she's jealous of, you're not. If you're not this single person build, building generational wealth, you're not. If you're not a single parent building generational wealth on business or businesses, you're not. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But um, it sounds like this person is about to start gaining a lot of attention soon respect and honor will come to this person so whatever they're doing and i strongly feel it could be public speaking activism or um terror reading or maybe a combination their success and fame of notoriety is about to come to them it sounds like it's in divine timing and it's about to come um with the action i.e the divine timing um divine timing has definitely been in play here and it's about to come in a huge positive way Okay, I heard divine timing has definitely been in play here, and it's about to come in a huge positive way. So it's confirmation from the universe. So it sounds like it's time for this person. But it sounds like this Leo reader doesn't want it to be time for this person. And I don't know why, I don't know why you should, uh, why you would be um, hateful and spiteful and jealous of anybody's success. Um, may, I don't know if this part, I mean, I don't know, because I'm not a hateful, jealous person. I'm not. Um, I'm not. Um, I, people that are, that make their way in a very positive way, I respect them. I don't, I'm not jealous of them. Um, but I've never been a jealous person ever a day in my life either. Um, and that's just the truth. I'm just not, um, like even like when my exes have moved on, I was never jealous of that. My ex-husband moved on. I was never jealous of that. And it drove my ex-husband crazy. Um, but I'm just not a jealous person. Um. I'm just really not, you know, some people fight over the baby mamas, they fight over the ex-wives, they fight over somebody's $500,000 house because they don't have it. I'm not like that. Um, I don't mind working for every freaking single penny I have. I never have minded. And because I know eventually when I get there, I'll knew it, I'll, I've done it because I have worked hard for every single penny I've ever earned. Um, because I always have. I'm 38 years old and nothing has ever been just given to me. And that's just the truth. Uh, I've never been a trust fund baby. I've never had a golden spoon just put in my mouth. Um, but I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with that. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day and namaste. Hope this helps. And if you think anyone else um, would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.